and welcome to part 9 of the Let's Play Minecraft Edition. Honestly, I need to stop doing that because every time I say the Minecraft Edition, and yes, you did just hit yes. Yeah, there we go. I'm already mispronouncing words. What a wonderful start to this this episode. But as you heard, that was a digital watch because I time my recordings. That is just how amazing I am. In the last episode, a lot of you were like, "Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Banana Man. You said you're at a coal." And then you ran right past Cole. And the only thing I have to say to you is, shut up. That's all I have to say. Now, in this episode, we are going to be exploring down here. Because, you, you know what, I think we're already... Oh, this is actually quite a lot larger than I remember. That was totally not a sexual related... Wow. This actually is quite large. Feel, feel free, people. I'm giving you free stuff right here. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Alright, that's the music. Uh, from reading your amazing comments, and I am surprised no one made fun of me for not knowing how to make a bucket, because it is, like, extremely simple, and I want to thank you for not making fun of me. But, uh, from reading your suggestions and your comments, I'm apparently close to slimes. Now, I have never seen a slime in this game, but I am hoping that I will soon find one because that, that would be interesting. And, my good friends, I think we have happened upon water. And like I said, happened upon water. Now honestly I have no idea where I'm at, but apparently, this can be seen from the surface. How strange. And look at that! Look, look! More, more coal. And yes, I collected some coal while you guys were gone. Let's jump into the sexy shoutout! The first person to answer who this was is the user, Lukes13. Congratulations, my friend. You are amazing, along with the many other people who guessed it. I was rather surprised that so many people knew because this show is sadly not on the air anymore. It, it definitely should be because it is an amazing show. And uh, if you liked Todd from that show, I suggest you just go and smack yourself in the face. Because that is where I prefer to smack my people. A few unfortunate incidents happened today, which I am going to tell you about right now. I was playing this, you know, making the banana cave a little better than it is, and, you know, building hallways and wallways and walls and... All of that amazing stuff that you do when you're not recording, and apparently when I was doing that, I died, and I lost all my uh, iron, and I meant to look that up to figure out what it actually is called, but uh, I lost it all. Luckily enough, I found more on my way back, which took me 30 minutes to get back to this place, and hello, I believe I have found something amazing. Down we wait. I th ooh, I don't want to die, because as you can see, I I have all of my my good stuff back. Ooh, ooh man, we we gotta be close to something. Oh, I just I, I don't want to die. Actually, while I was on my way here, because as I said, I was I was busy getting the banana cave ready. But all, while I was on my way here, in my little base that I built inside of this cave, I found some redstone ore. I did not mine it because I thought you guys would want to see it, and I completely forgot about it until now, so that is why I am not currently mining it. So forgive me for that, my friends. Just forgive me. Hopefully, since we are so close to lava, and we are actually very far underground, we might come across some crystals. And yeah, I know how much that bothers you, and I am purposely doing it now. Don't hate me, just love me. And I'm sure there's some song that uses those exact words, and I probably could have come up with something hilarious. But unfortunately, I only listen to Swedish black metal. Hopefully, you guys can forgive me. Well, while we're doing the boring stuff in this game, and actually, surprisingly, this I, I don't find this too boring. I actually kind of enjoy it, which is probably not a good thing. 
But while we were doing this, I suggest that we jump into the random comments and questions of the videos and videos. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm apparently recording and commentating more than one video at the same time. Don't ask me how. I'm just Jesus and a banana. I'm, I'm the Jesus banana. I think that fits pretty well. But let's jump into okay. Let's jump into the random comment and the question of the video. We're going to start with the question first because that is much shorter than the comment. The comment is actually quite an amazing comment, just like from Scottish Skater ninety three. He and I go back pretty far. He's a very sexy Scottish person, and uh, hopefully I will see you on Skype soon because I know I have been very absent from Skype. I have my reasons, and all they are, although they are not very good reasons. They are nonetheless reasons, my friend. The comment... Ah, oh, damn it, Dylan, you already messed up. The question of the video. Okay, thank God, I have another one. I feel like I'm going to have to go back soon because I'm already almost out. I probably should have prepared a little bit more for this, but honestly, what, what, what can you do? The question of this video comes from a user by the name of... I'm the Indian guy. Now, before I actually say this user's question, I just want to say what it reminds me of. Uh, I'm sure anyone here can relate to when you first see something, you immediately just see something. Or it reminds you of something. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw your name, Mr. Indian Man, was that episode of The Office where that, like, Indian guy came in, or the tech guy, and he had, like, that weird thing on his head, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for being an idiot and not knowing this, but that's what I'm doing right now. Hopefully you can forgive me, hopefully we can still remain friends, and hopefully I can be more than a friend, maybe friends with benefits? I know, that sounds pretty good to you right now, doesn't it? Let's, uh, let's put, a, let's put aside the creepy jokes, which can get a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. We're actually gonna dig down to the left this time, because I feel like going here isn't, isn't, isn't working for me. It's kind of like going down a highway, and you have to go on an off-ramp, and then you kind of realize, oh, hey, if I go off that off-ramp, I'm gonna end up in the wrong place. And hopefully you guys know where I'm going with that. Uh, this user's question is, you like my sexy name, and the Indian guy... I love your name. But unfortunately, your name is not as sexy as my name. But I'm sure we can put aside our differences and hopefully have a child one day because I've always wanted to have an Indian friend. Because as you can see, I live in Florida. And in Florida, there are no Indians here. There are only rednecks. Which I am not, in case you were wondering. Although I can put on a goddamn good accent of a redneck if I do say so myself. Oh my god. And finally. I'm really trying to cut out saying that word because I know a lot of people have uh, problems with it. And to those people that have problems, I suggest you go and eat a lemon. Or possibly a banana. The bananas are good. Alright, I am going to go back real quick and actually get some more picks because I didn't prepare well. As soon as I get back, we're doing the comment of the video. See you guys soon. Alright guys, I am back now. As you can plainly see, I have my pick. I have assembled another shovel and two more picks because I am so amazing. Something I want to do in this LP of Minecraft is I want to give you guys the opportunity to help me name places. Now, as you can see with this cave, it is a very large cave and I sometimes do get lost. So, putting up signs would help me figure out where I need to go. Now, I want you guys to think of some awesome names for this or you know just this little this little like fork in the road kind of thing what do you think would properly describe it as being so amazing the person with the best name will get it put on here and I'll also put your YouTube username so it could be like sex 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 your username just anything that's amazing and perfectly describes it so back to the lava Alright guys, we are now back. We have a pick in our hand. We have a, a nice cold cup of coffee. Ugh, that, that does not sound very delicious, although I will agree that iced coffee can sometimes be absolutely delicious. So, as I said last time, we are going to jump into the comment of the video. Now, this is a rather long comment. I don't necessarily like to do long comments, just because as I'm doing live commentary, I have to write these down. But, uh, this one was just so amazing that, oh my god, I am a very happy little man right now. Mine, 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 mine. 
I feel like S Santa just came up to me and stuck his fingers in my face. Now, if you're a if you're a sexy man, you will know exactly what I mean by that. I almost feel like I should take that out, like I went just a little too far there. But I know how much you guys like it, so I'll leave it in for you. Oh yeah, you just got a bit of the banana man right there. Uh, but I guess before we get into the actual comment of the video, I want to give another huge shout out to Cody W, whose username on YouTube is Hyperfire22. You, my friend, are amazing. Thank you so much for donating to me again. I will probably have the mic now, possibly within a week. And uh, if I do get that, I am going to give you a very, very, very sexy shout out with that new microphone. So look forward to that, my fine feathered friend who probably fall, 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 frolics in fields of bananas. Yes, I know that was an epic fail on my part. Now let us get into the random comment of the video, which comes from a user by the name of Rustum127. Rustum127 says, Banana Pie Lord, why did you make me melt? I have watched all your vids, and you misuse that awesome, sexy, smexy, fantastic. Bananalicious voice of yours, and oh my gosh, yes, I love this stuff. Until I find Crystal, zuh. <laughs> no, that 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 wasn't what he what he said. Um, <laughs> sorry. You no, know, no, I'm not even gonna say sorry to you. You can accept it. You heard more of my sexy voice. Oh, I get. I love you guys. Oh, it is terribly difficult trying to trying to do this and and read at the same time. Uh, let's see, where was I at? Your bananalicious voice. That melts me. Why would you do such a thing? Why? Why? I don't know if you put that much emphasis into the why, but I certainly did. But it is not too late. You can make it up by giving... Oh, God. No, 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 no. No. Well, we almost had a banana problem. <laughs> Oh, hey there, Mr. Redstone Ore. Haven't seen you in a while, and by a while I mean like less than a minute. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to say your comment. <laughs> uh, well, that doesn't help. You can make it up to us by giving each one of us that melted a banana pie. Goodbye, a big fan. P.S. I didn't write this. My friend did, because I melted. Now, you you have to understand that I, I don't do this on purpose. My voice just melts people unintentionally. Although, sometimes I do abuse the fact that my voice is just, you know, the savior of countries and states. And I'm hoping maybe one of them will sponsor me to a ticket of Algorand's theory for rhetorical questions, which is a new book by the author, James. I very much love the author James. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, hey there! We're actually we're gonna go up here real quick, my my friends. Wow! Wow! We wow! We found a cool little area. I like this. Uh, the video is almost over. See, I really wish I had partnership, and I actually did apply. In case any of you are wondering, so I'm uh, waiting to hear back from the YouTubes. If I can actually get a partnership, that would be amazing, because I could put up longer video zuh, for you, my friends. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, does anybody have any suggestions or tips as to what I should use this redstone ore on? Because, quite frankly, I have no idea. But by the looks of it, since I found this, I am probably getting closer to the crystals. And yes, I am going to continue saying that just to trigger your guys' annoyance because I find it very funny. And I'm sure you're you're trying to smack me through your screen with a banana, and trust me, I can feel it. I, I feel the pain, but I, I can't stop. It's a disease. It's, it's horrible. Alright guys, in part 10, we will continue to dig deeper into a lay... Oh, oh I'll stop myself right there. I, sh I will. I will see you guys on part 10. And thank you once again, Cody. I love you, man.